known for having some of the best steak houses in the world. So it's only fitting we do a nice piece of steak on our beef episode. Instead of doing one of those traditional River North spots, we wanted something different. And Brad on our app said we should try Buff House in Westtown. Thanks, Brad. Chicago is really known and has this history deep rooted in steak and steak houses. What is it about Buff House that really sets you apart? You know, the Buff House has a little bit of edge to it, and maybe that comes from wonderful, you know, West Town Ukrainian Village, Humboldt Park neighborhood. I live right around the corner, and you know, this place came in a couple years ago, and it was just what the area needed. It's a nice small place right in the neighborhood, so it's nice to come and kind of get away from some of the other larger restaurants. I feel like with bigger steak houses, it tends to just be like serve as many people as you can. I think here, they definitely put more emphasis on like paying attention to the food paying attention to the customers. Yeah. There's something that sets it apart from other places. I couldn't really tell you what it is, but they're doing something special for sure. Well, there's lots of different cuts of beef behind us, but what are you and I actually going to be making in the kitchen today? Uh, steak frites today. Hanger steak coming from, you know, sort of the, the, the diaphragm region of the ammo. Simply some fries and then a little cybernese. I love it. Yeah. Very classic French. Classic French. Put me to work so we can eat. There we go. House hanger steak starts with a liberal seasoning of salt and pepper. And then Chef and I get our sizzle on. A decent oh, amount wow. of oil. Really, yeah, yeah. It's going to be really hot. It's, it's bubbling. It's hot. Here at Buff House, I think one of the things that makes the place unique is we cook exclusively in cast iron. Only uh, cast iron. Only cast iron. While we baste our steak in oil, I add a clove of garlic. We're going to let it sort of do its thing in the oil and get a, you know, caramelize a little bit. A sprig of thyme. Every piece of beef, every protein here at the Buff House. And it wouldn't be French cooking without a healthy scoop of butter. The nice foamy brown butter gives it a touch of nuttiness. Nice. Look and at that. that. And that's pretty much it. We're not just doing steak, it's steak and frites. Steak and frites. And we all know that I'm a frites girl. Those are my things. So maybe uh, we drop some of those and then I'll meet you out to do some eating. That sounds great. Awesome. All right. What are you looking for in a good steak? How do you want it? I want it really juicy. I want it perfectly cooked. The cook number one has to be cooked right. It has to be done well. It has to have a nice sear on the outside of it. Kind of well balanced and seasoned all throughout. I just want it to be really tender and delicious. And you know, I want the fat to melt in my mouth. Sounds like a nice little cut of heaven. Let's eat. Well, steak frites is like one of my favorite meals. Classic, very simple. Simple, uh, classic, just... but delicious. All right. Let's dig in, dig shall in. we? We shall. The meat is perfect. It's like melt in your mouth. Delicious. Super tender. This is amazing and fantastic. But I've also heard about another beef dish that you guys have that I have to try. So what is this that we have in front uh, of us? These are our short rib beignets. They're short ribs that we braise and then they're stuffed inside a yeasted beignet dough. I mean, I love beignets. I love beef. You put them together. This is kind of ridiculous. There you go. It's a beef lover's dream. I'm telling you. I'm just going to stay for a while. All right. You I, think we, I think that's what we do. I've got lots of eating to do. I say right. we stay. Cheers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.